This is Nikita from Department of Interior Design at Milagres College. Before starting up the topic, let's see what is interior design. Interior design is an art and a science or a process of designing a room or a building. Interior design is nothing but a human behavior or human interaction. Now, nowadays, a day to day, what the interior design designer will do? Interior designer make a interior space safe, functional, comfortable, and aesthetic. So, interior design can transform an ordinary space into masterpiece. Before doing a masterpiece, let's see what what are they use elements of elements and principle of design. Let's see what is elements of design. Elements of design is nothing but line, shape, and form, point, texture, space, pattern, and color. Now, example, if I take a plan, there vertical line is used, diagonal line is used, and horizontal line is used. Now, let's see what is element of design. The element are a component or a part which can be isolated and defined any visual design or a work of art. They are the structure of the work and carry a wide variety of messages. So element of design is point, line, shape and form, texture, space, pattern and color. The first one we will see what is point. A point is a tiny solid circle. A point is the first and simplest element of visual design. Point serves as a focal of something visual and therefore draws the attention. Even if there is only one point on a one mark on a, on a blank sheet, our brains will make it mean something. Our brain seeks some kind of relationship or a order even if only to use it as point of orientation in relation to the outline of the page. If there is two points on a page immediately, the eye will make a connection and see a line. If a two point like vertical or horizontal. If there is three point, it is unavoidable to interrupt them as a tri triangle. The brain supplies a connection. So there is a three points, it makes a triangle. Now in example, in interior space, here they have used the frame. And it acts as a focal point. Now second one, line. What is line? Line is a basic design element to many of the different nature in the room create an impression of a visual confusion like too many beams, panels on a wall, etc. Line should be restricted to the minimum. So line should be restricted to minimum, not too many lines in interior. Now equal height in fun, for furniture bring a impression of unity in the space. Vertical line create the impression of height and similarly horizontal line create an impression of more length. Now vertical line of doorways, draperies, window, etc. Give a strength and a height of the room. Similarly, horizontal line obtained by a table, chair, bookcase, etc. So line is used to create a breadth and height or a appearance of activity, movement or a flow. In interior design, line are created by furnishing and architecture of a room and guide the eye. So let's see next what is the type of line. As all know now the only vertical and horizontal. Vertical line will be for table or table is horizontal line. For vertical line is doorways windows etc now types of line first one is vertical line vertical line are straight line up and down perpendicular to the horizontal line second one horizontal line the line drawn horizontally are called horizontal line that is perpendicular to vertical line next one diagonal line diagonal line are the straight line in any direction other than vertical or horizontal line 
Next is curve line. Curve lines are lines that bend in any amount of degree. They may be generally wavy. Curve line whether whether free form, arcing, circular, elliptical, often feel natural, organic, playful, or soothing. If you are looking to make a space flow, curving lines are great way to do. Next is zigzag lines. Z are a series of diagonal lines joined end to end. So this is a zigzag lines. They are used in pattern as a for wall and a ceiling. Now curve line they are used here for sofa and a ceiling. Diagonal line they are for used in wall as a paint and bookcase horizontal line they are used as a pattern for the walls now we while we give horizontal line for the walls the room will look smaller when we use vertical line for the room pattern that room will look like a larger so types of line is vertical horizontal diagonal curved zigzag Thank you.